Reynolds and welcome back to the homestead. So today we have a project that we got to get done. So a while back I told you that our chickens were being taken by predators up in the mountains and we had fixed it by having the dogs be able to roam over here a little bit more. But these predators outsmarted the dogs and they'll have something over here making a lot of noise and so all the dogs would take off over there but yet something over here would come down and take the chickens or vice versa they'd make noise over here dogs would come over there and something over here would come down and take the chickens so we need to remedy that as much as possible this fence that we have right here we no longer need because this is where my garden was and i'm not going to do a garden back here anymore it's out of sight out of mind so i decided We'll just make all this pasture because we've got Hagrid and on the other side of those weeds over there we've got Henry our cow and we've also got our two sheep Sniffles and Fiona. So all this is going to be come pasture. So we're going to go ahead and take this fence down and move it over here along the creek and hopefully that will slow down the predators and also prevent the chickens from going down into the creek where they are getting taken. I'm telling you, it ain't easy. These predators, they want to eat and they will find a way. So it's just slowing them down and giving the dogs a chance to hopefully get there before anything happens. Nothing's going to be perfect. There's no way to perfectly keep them safe with as many chickens as I have. I can't lock them all up and I don't want to lock them all up. But let's head over here and I'll show you real quick. Henry, Fiona, and Sniffles. Morning! Hey Henry! Hey Fiona! Hey Sniffles! What you guys doing? This side doesn't have any electric fencing on it. We just left it with the regular fence. So if we want to take down this, we're going to have to put up some more electric fencing just to keep them in, which is the plan. But for now, we're just going to take down the one fence over there. And then we'll take this one down another day. All this over here, this was my perennial bed and it would come back every year. I've got asparagus all in this row. I've got two rhubarbs right here. And then we had planted when we first moved here, I think we got four rows of strawberries that have just always been overtaken by weeds. So the strawberries, I'm probably just gonna let those go. I'm not going to try digging those out. There's just too many of them. And next year, I will buy more from the extension office and I will plant them closer to the house where I can go out and see them and tend to them every single day. It's just too much over here. So all this is going to become pasture because we are planning to get more sheep and possibly another cow. At least we know for sure we will be rotating cows through here every single year. Henry's following me. <laughs> so hubby is currently taking down all of the little wires so that we can get this fence off. We're gonna pull the T-posts, move the T-posts closer, and then put the fence back up. Let's get started. All right, hubby got all of the little hooks that put the fence to the T-posts. He got those all off. So now we have to go through and take out all of the barbed wire that my father-in-law put at the bottom to keep the pigs from rooting out when they were in this fencing without electric. That's going to be a bummer. It's going to take some time. So I got to get in there and I'm going to roll up. He's going to cut and I'll roll all of the fencing, the barbed wire fencing. All 
right, friends. So we got the fence down. All of it's laying on the floor now. So we need to roll it up and get it ready. And we're still gonna decide on what we're gonna do. We thought about maybe putting the fence above the street, like right next to the street and keeping the predator out that way. But there's a lot of bumps and grooves up there on the street and it would just go underneath the fence. So hubby's thinking of maybe getting a motion detector that we can put up there that also when it senses motion it sends out like a growl or something to scare it away and it'll alert our phones telling us that there's something up there and I can come out and patrol but I don't know we're still deciding on what we're gonna do taking the fence down took a lot longer than we thought it was going to all the barbed wire that was at the bottom of the fencing just took forever to undo and roll up and but it's done so now we just need to roll up the fencing, take down the T-posts, and then we're probably gonna call it a day because it's hot. It's really hot and I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so we'll finish doing this part and then we'll call it a day. I hate barbed wire. All this is going in the trash. All right, let's look at the difference between my rolling and hubby's rolling. You can definitely see who is better. <laughs> Hubby wins. His is tighter. <laughs> so, I was trying to think. You can probably use some of this leftover wire that's in here. That's what I was thinking too. So when we're taking out all the barbed wire, they are covered with all of these metal pieces that my father-in-law attached to the fence so the barbed wire would stay in place. And it was taking forever to go through and cut them off and then put them in here. So it was easier just to cut and move, cut and move. So I decided to get our little metal grabber and I'm going through every row and I'm picking up all the metal pieces so that way it doesn't ruin my lawn mower when we come through here or the sheep and uh, cow's feet when they walk across this once we put them over here. You don't want any wire going into their hooves. So this thing is awesome to have. And it really does work really, really good. All right, friends, we are officially all done. We are heading inside now. Let's see what time it is. It's 2.15. We have been outside since 10 o'clock. So, not bad, but it's definitely really hot right now. Let's check the weather and see what, 82 degrees. It does have a nice breeze right now, but it is definitely hot when you're in the sun. So, we are gonna head inside, have some lunch, relax, and then figure out exactly what our plan is going to be for keeping the predators away from the chickens. All right, friends, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.